Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna continue looking at more weird and funny Finnish sayings. In case you missed the first part of this, I have this book by Karolina Korhonen called Matti in the Wallet. And it has lots of Finnish sayings, which I've started to go over, kind of giving you some background and insights into the culture. So we got through the first 10 in the last episode. You can check that out here, but let's get started with the next round of 10 starting now. So the first one, I will again pop up up here, is juosta pää kolmantena jalkana. And the literal translation for this one is to run with your head as a third leg. Um, and there you see the illustration. Actually, something I missed to mention last time. So this guy who's in all of the illustrations and who's on the cover of the book, his name is Matti, um, which is a typical Finnish name. So it's Matti appearing in all of these illustrations. And in this one, Matti is, I guess, running and his head is working as his third leg. Now, I think you might be able to guess what this could mean. The real translation is to move very fast. So if you're wanting to move fast someplace, then using you know your head as your third leg might provide you with more speed. Um, I can't think of a like a super similar saying in English. Maybe you can come up with one um, other than, and I apologize for the language, but haul ass. So that somehow also refers to another body part not, that's not your legs. And it means to really to move very fast. So that saying, if you use it to say you're running with your head as your third leg, it really means that you're in a hurry. Maybe you're trying to catch the bus or you're trying to to do something that you're late for. Next up, we have Lura visat bat uhten. And the literal translation of that is to smash wise heads together. And there you see Matti with another Finnish person and they're bumping their heads together. This one, I think, is quite logical. If you check out the kind of meaning of the phrase, it means to think together. And somehow, I mean, a very similar saying also in English to put your heads together. It just means that you're trying to think of a solution together. So this one, not so weird and not so Finnish, I guess. Um, probably something that it exists in a lot more languages than just English and also Finnish. That's that one. The next one, I think more typical Finnish, it's Olla viilipytty, and the literal translation is to be a tub full of fermented milk. And um, fermented milk is something that's very popular in Finland. People eat it for breakfast with berries or sugar. I, I like to eat it plain. I haven't run across fermented milk in other countries, at least that it's eaten in the same way as in Finland, as kind of similar to yogurt or, or something like that. There you see a picture where Matti is in <laughs> a tub of fermented milk. So this one, again, probably not so clear or easy to guess what it means. If we look at the real meaning of the saying, it's to be very calm and restrained. Um, now, I really don't have any explanation for you why the saying means that, other than somehow I'm just thinking that the fermented milk needs to kind of sit around and wait to kind of have the fermenting happen. So maybe that's the reason. Um, you're you're calm and restrained because you're just waiting around and you're not in any hurry. That's the best explanation that I can come up with. Next up, we have a saying that is viilata linsin. And if you look at the literal translation, it means to file a lens. Uh, and there you see Matti with a file and a lens. And this one means to trick, fool or lie. Don't really know what would be like a similar English equivalent saying, um, to pull wool over someone's eyes, maybe, uh, something similar. So if you're trying to like trick someone, then you can say that you're filing them in the lens. So the literal translation, I think, is a little bit misleading because it doesn't mean like to file a lens, like in general, like to file any lens, you're filing 
someone in the lens somehow like you're doing that to someone not like to the lens but you're filing someone in the lens so I don't know semantics once again but I think I would translate the literal translation a little bit differently but anyway to file someone in the lens means to trick fool or to lie next up we have potkaista tyhjä uh, the literal translation to kick empty space and for this one you see uh, the Finnish guy there kicking like the air kicking nothing um, and maybe this one especially once I reveal the real meaning might be quite obvious um, if we take a look at the meaning it means to die and a little bit sinister of a saying, but I would say similar to in English when you say kick the bucket. So in Finnish, you kick empty space and in English, you kick the bucket. Um, similar meaning to mean that someone died. In Finland, I've definitely heard this saying much as many people in English have definitely heard of kicking the bucket. Usually I hear it referred to like, um, like the TV kick the bucket or something other like electronic or a car maybe kick the bucket or something like that. Um, so it can be also used to describe inanimate objects, not just people. Then we have heitä hulta which the literal translation is to throw some lip and for this one you see those guys throwing their lips around this one the real meaning is to joke with someone like joke around with someone and um, for this one i was trying to think of something equivalent in english and i was trying to think like shoot the shit or but that's more like for conversation like you're talking with someone or then um what was it that I was thinking about? It was like shoot the breeze, but that's also like having conversations with someone, talking with someone. So let me know. I also think somehow that um, the 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 saying "hey ta hulta" to me, when I think about it, it's not just joking around. Like I would use it to say that I'm also like conversing with someone. Um, but as the, the more I think about it, yes, it usually has that kind of like humor connotation to it. So let me know, is there something equivalent in English that I can't think of right now? I don't know. Um, but yeah, to throw, throw some lip, <laughs> that's the, that's the meaning or that's the literal translation of that one. Next up we have tehdä kärpäsestä härkänen. And the literal translation is to make a bull out of a fly. Actually, I disagree with this one because the literal translation should be to make a little bull out of a fly. Because you see in the actual saying, harkanen, when you have this ending, N-E-N, it's kind of, it means like small. Someone is small, like a small version, harka like the just the word harka is bull and when you say harkanen it means like a, a small one i think here they've just used it so it'll rhyme with the word for fly which is garpanen so so that's what that's why but if you really want to literally translate it is it it means to make a little bull out of a fly and here you see um the the finnish guy is holding what looks like a fly with a bull's head and then the actual meaning is to make little matters bigger than they actually are to blow something out of proportion um, i'm trying to think if there's like in the back of my mind i'm thinking there has to be a similar saying in english why can't i think of it now i'll pop it here below if i like before i edit this video um, if i think of it i'll put it down here but i don't know i just Feel like there needs to be or, or there has to be a similar saying in English let me know if I can't think of it if I do again you'll find it below next up we have repia pelihousut and the literal translation is to rip game shorts and yep the, I, I agree with that translation the real meaning is to get angry so like if you get angry at something you get frustrated at something you tear up 
your game shorts, which kind of makes sense. Like, okay, you're playing a game and you get super angry at something. So you just like tear up your game shorts because you, you lose your temper. Um, something like someone throwing a tennis racket when they get frustrated. So yeah, makes perfect sense. <laughs> Next up we have Vede la Hirsia. And this, the literal translation for this one is to drag logs. And there you see the Finnish guy dragging a log. Once again, another one that's not like a super rare saying. It's not a saying that's just in Finland because I would say a very similar saying in English, which is to saw logs. So the meaning is to sleep, to snore while sleeping. So yes, it doesn't always mean just snoring. It can refer to just sleeping, but yeah, similar to English sawing logs to snore, they both refer to logs um, in Finland, dragging in English sawing. But yeah, funny that there's many sayings where there's really similar references. Like this one has logs. We had the put your heads together. Um, we had in the previous episode, we had something going over the dandruff, meaning it goes over your head. So yeah, how funny how sayings change across cultures and across languages. Maybe they've had similar beginnings or similar roots where they came from and then they just adapt it in the different cultures. I find that really interesting. But anyway, last one for today will be Älä nuolaise ennen kuin tipahtaa. And this one I really like. I haven't heard it used in real life many times, but it makes me always think of this um, cartoon that I watched when I was little because there was an episode where the characters used this saying. The literal translation is don't lick it before it drops. And there you have Matti with his tongue out and in the word before you can see a little water droplet um, about to drop. Maybe, who knows? He's already licking it before it drops. The real meaning behind the saying is don't be confident of a success before it actually happens. And this one makes sense to me. Like, don't think something is going to happen before it happens. Don't celebrate something before it happens. And it's Finnish mentality of don't be too overconfident. Don't brag about something, especially if it's not a sure thing. Wait before it becomes a reality. But this one I don't think has like a negative connotation like I mentioned in the previous video where I really didn't like that other saying because it kind of showed the Finnish kind of more pessimistic side. This one I think makes sense. It means just calm down, um, be patient and don't celebrate before something is actually real. So those were all for this round. Stick with me. I will continue going through the book to go through the rest of the sayings. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't yet watched part one, it had 10 other really fun sayings, some that were uniquely Finnish, some that also exist in other languages. So check that one out and I will see you on the channel next time. Bye guys. Music